Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, the meat birds are now eight weeks old, and they are huge. So I wanted to show you because right now I'm into the kitchen. I'm taking birds out of the freezer, and I'm canning them. And uh, so I got four uh, chickens that's uh, in, the, in the refrigerator. And so I am got one cut up, and fixing to go in there and cut three more because I got to make room for the freezer for these I believe it's 2021 uh, Cornish broiler meat birds so let's take a look so originally I was going to do like, maybe a week by week um, segment on these Cornish broilers here these meat birds but I realized that there's lots of videos out there of people you know showing the growth of the meat birds and i do have some videos when they were younger but i can tell you right now they have grown really really fast and so this chicken tractor that i built has been such a blessing the only thing is when i put them in there i didn't get the wheels on it didn't think about it until i already had them in there um, the wind got a hold of the top so once they have been processed then I will be putting the wheels on it and uh, repairing a board that the wind grabbed a hold of the top and slammed it back. But it's really holding up as much as this chicken tractor here has moved around. So this chicken tractor has really been a blessing. Up there is a stick where I prop open the door, the top onto it. So here are the meat birds. And I picked one up yesterday and it was heavy. So eight weeks old. And I thought I would start letting them just move around a little bit uh, because they're getting to the place. It's hard for them to move around because they're so big. To me, since I had probably 70 plus chickens um, and I process I believe it was 16 of those and 16 of them was roosters so I processed them um, feeding them hasn't been bad at all because when you're feeding about 70 plus chickens you know it takes probably about the same amount of food except they if not less it's because these are eight weeks old so the other ones was uh, nine months old you know usually yard birds you can keep up them nine months old I believe you know or sometimes it takes them to nine months I have read to be to full maturity of course you can process them before then but for weight wise they say that you know up to nine about not seven to nine months you know for, for your yard birds which if you got chickens like those are my regular chickens over here mr. roosters he's like checking them out it's like yeah so anyways, um, these are all hens here. I did see one rooster in there. And uh, I wasn't really thinking. I decided to get hens. Now this right here is a rock. And so she is really enjoying herself being a chicken. Now I have noticed with these broilers, the voice is deep. Of course, they're not moving around that much. Their legs are differently. They don't act like a regular chicken. Uh, they don't scratch they don't there was a cricket that got on the ground was crawling through the chicken coop and they just like looked at it like what is that they didn't go after it now i just turned them out and she's like yeah this is this is life right here and here she's doing the scratching and the chicken broiler is just sitting there waiting for her to dig something up so it could eat it weird unique but weird She's the only one that's scratching around. And so, you know, I'm kind of watching them to see exactly when I'm going to prepare to process these um, meat birds here. That's why I'm in the kitchen right now, going ahead and uh, getting those, thawing some chickens out, usually about four at a time, and then putting them into the cannon jars. So that I'll have room. I've got room in the freezer for these, but I just want to go ahead and get them canned because I really do not want to leave all these meat birds or chickens, you know, in the freezer because I do live on a hurricane zone. So I don't really like leaving a whole lot of stuff in the freezer 
uh, especially something like this that you've got your time and your money into and it's your meat you know I just rather go ahead and do it like that and that way you know it's cooked it's ready to eat and so this makes a lot life a lot easier Mr. Rooster what you think what you think Mr. Rooster what you think so he's been very happy that there is not a whole bunch of other roosters. He's the only rooster around here besides that one meat roller. And uh, so he don't even know he exists. He doesn't crow or anything, but Mr. Rooster is very, very happy. They just lay around. There's, they're up under a shade tree right at the moment. So up on my hot. It's not that bad out here. The wind is blowing. So I decided to put this this fence around it, this poultry netting around them and let them move around. But still, even so, some of them still went back into the chicken tractor. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Just want to show you the meat birds and how well they're doing. They are doing very, very well. So will I do this again? Absolutely. This is the way to go. Having yard birds, if you need to get rid of some of them to process them, that's great. But to raise them up for nine months, seven months, six months, five months, they probably eat the same amount of food. And But this is right here. These are eight weeks. You can go ahead and, you know, get them raised up, uh, get them processed, have meat into your freezer. And honestly, I, I just don't see that uh, expense-wise that it was that bad because everybody says it's expensive. You got to have a whole lot of feed. And I'm not sure the amount of feed that they went through. So definitely, probably, I'm saying maybe about... Uh, five 50 pound bags so so far you know and I, they eat all they want all they want i uh started out you know i thought i'd get 12 hours on 12 hours off because that's what everybody says to do and for me i just you know i pour the food in there they eat all day long if there's any left over then the next morning when they get up then they're, they're eating on that it doesn't put such a rush for me to get out there to feed them and if they, you know, so if there's some left over, that's great. And then I feed them again. And there's none left over by the afternoon, which is very seldom. Uh, then that's okay because it's not long for them to go to bed anyhow. So really um, having a bucket feeder, chicken bucket feeder, has been great because I'm not pouring it on the ground. I'm not wasting it. They're not wasting it. They know where their feed is at. They see that bucket, and the chicken tractor has been excellent. Yes, they learn how to walk with the chicken tractor. They know if it starts moving, they're, they're going to move. They're going to have to move. And so, and they know it's feeding time, so they're more than welcome to feed. So also, they've been out here, and they're constantly being moved and eating clover, eating the grass. They love the clover, and they get the lay around into the grass they're at the stage where they really need to be moved at least two times a day really i could probably go three times a day but two times a day because they do poop a lot i heard they eat a lot they poop a lot like i said the food to me wasn't so bad they do drink a lot uh, they're, they're up to probably just about five gallons of water a day and by moving them into the chicken tractor, they're not laying in their poop all the time because they do, they're at the stage and they've been at the stage that they lay around a lot. They'll even lay down and eat their food. So by moving them onto the grass, it helps keep them, their place, their home, um, more clean, you know, and, and you, you know, you're talking about disease and everything else when you're dealing with uh, waste. So you don't want to keep your birds into that. So it's a good thing. Then that way they can they get a hold of fresh clover and so it's just been a great experience yes absolutely i would do this again as a matter of fact i am really considering once i get these processed to see if i can go ahead and raise up some more meat birds i just i love this technique 
Now I do have an incubator. And so my, my plan with the incubator was to raise up my own chickens, raise them up, um, eggs, have the own, my own eggs, incubate them, raise my own biddies up, raise, raise them up my own chickens. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, that's a good technique to get your own chickens for your eggs. But as far as this being fast, this this has been great. I've, and it's been so, to me, it's been really, really easy. And it's been more stress less considering having roosters for nine months, which actually I'm sure I would have processed them at six months, but or five months or somewhere around there. They actually stayed here a little bit longer than, than I planned on it. I did cook one of the chickens uh, that I did process from here and made some broth and cooked the chicken. And it was just, it was it was dynamite it was the way that i was raised up and when i was growing up i didn't really eat the chickens but i remember that broth when cooking it the color of it because the reason i didn't eat them because i i had chickens as pets so this is a new adventure for me this is a great uh crossroads for me I was saying i would never do something other but i i end up doing it and um it's made me a stronger person it's made me actually believe it or not it's made me a better person more independent, more self-reliant, and I'm so glad that I actually made a decision to step this way to learn how to process uh, meat birds, to process chickens. Um, is it a fun thing? No, it's not, it's not a fun thing, but it, I believe it's the way of life. I believe it's the, it's the way my grandmother did it. It's the way her mother did it. It's My ancestors did it. Uh, my mother did it. So it's time for me to step to the plate. As my daughter says, why would you spend all that time and money on this when you just go to this grocery store? I said, because I know what's going in my birds. And then at the same time, I know what's going in my birds. And that makes it, makes it uh, all so much better, but the meat tastes so much better. It looks better. Uh, making the broth was rich. It's, it's nothing like store-bought. Store That's why we need to get to a place, grow our own food, raise our own food, and learn to can, learn to do this stuff that our ancestors used to do. Because once you ever taste it, you say, gosh, this is, this is dynamite, just like green beans. You know, I got some green beans into my string beans, green beans into my garden, and I love those. I love those with fresh potatoes. But you give me a bowl of green beans from the grocery store or green, even the, the fresh ones, they don't taste the same. Or a can of green beans, I'm, I'm going to turn it down. I'm just, that's just, that's just not me. Store-bought eggs is not me. Some of that can, all that stuff that they got at the grocery store is just not me. It just does not taste the way it's supposed to taste. Okay, guys, just want to show you my little meat birds here, which are not little anymore. They are on their own. And so then now I've got to figure out a time with the time and when the time is right. I'm watching them. I'm not going off on what everybody else says. Because I believe every life, uh, every animal has, you have to look at the animal and see what you are to do. Just like when I moved them from one cage to the other cage as they grow. I would just watch them and see what they were doing, see if they was outgrowing it. Just watch them so I would know what the next stage is that I am to do, what responsibility that I am to take. Okay, and that was another thing. Once I raised up the yard birds, and I raised them up, I incubated them, I put them here, I took care of them, I just had to step to the plate and take that responsibility and i am so glad that i crossed that road because it's just uh it's something you have to experience to really understand but thank you so much for watching and this is cammy at never alone homestead and remember guys make it a great day i am this is wonderful